the next Young Sheldon. Tonight. Now, weather alert from the Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority. I have one chief meteorologist, Dan Scoff. We also got Josh Rugger and even Zach Gilday, who has been working throughout the uh, morning. And we've yes. been tracking this storm system for several hours. And now we got a tornado warning. Want to let you know about it. It just got issued on Heil Heating Cooling Mega Doppler, Logan County. Tornado warning has been issued. That also extends into Johnson County. This is coming out of the National Weather Service out of Little Rock. We're going to mm -hmm. give you all this information. Let's bring up Mega Doppler full here, and we're going to show you where the area of the strongest circulation is. Paris, if you live in the Paris uh, community, you need to be taking your uh, tornado safety precautions immediately. So we do have that storm that is rotating. These ingredients have been increasing throughout the afternoon, and it's going to only get worse, too. A new tornado watch will likely be coming out for northwest Arkansas. We already have the tornado watch that's been issued for Logan County as well as uh, Johnson County, Newton County, and Scott County. Those are the four counties that are currently under uh, that uh, tornado potential at the moment, but additional storms are going to be likely. This is going to be a long afternoon, folks. We're going to get you through it. We're going to keep you up to date with everything. We are streaming this weather coverage right now as we do have uh, this tornado warning that just got issued a few seconds ago from the National Weather Service out of Little Rock. So let's go ahead and we'll bring up Mega Doppler full. We'll put a storm track on this for you to let you know where this is headed and give you an exact idea on uh, where this storm is heading and how fast it's going to be moving. So uh, this storm system is really moving in and increasing in intensity pretty rapidly. And uh, this cell that's moving to the northeast will be impacting areas of uh, northwestern uh, Logan County. Now, here's the deal. Um, we've been watching on our WeatherBug network cameras uh, the storm system that's been coming in. Now, we don't know exactly what type of view we're going to get from Mount Magazine at the moment, but we could see the base of the thunderstorm off in the distance, and it was very, very low. So let's yeah. go ahead and we'll uh, bring that up here from our Mount Magazine Weatherbug Network camera. And you can see totally shrouded in clouds, but every now and then we get a little bit of a break in the cloud cover that you can see. And uh, on our magazine, Mount Magazine Weatherbug Network camera, we're looking off in the distance, and that was where that lowering was, uh, which is uh, basically the system that uh, the, has become tornado worn. So let's go back to our Mega Doppler source on Weather 2, and we'll take a look at this track, and we'll give you an update on this. And so there's the area of circulation now, just starting to approach Paris. You can see all the lightning with it as well. And uh, the ingredients will only be getting more favorable for tornadoes as we head throughout the afternoon and evening. And so let's give you the wide view on this. This is in our extreme eastern weather coverage area. Northwest Arkansas currently has some storms. We'll zoom out just a little bit. This is all general thunderstorm activity, but this is that supercell that's beginning to ramp up. And if we go up into northwest Arkansas, you're going to notice that we have this storm system that's uh, developing for Washington County as well as Benton County. But this is just thunderstorm activity. This is not tornado potential as of now. Now, later on in the afternoon, depending on how much rain and how much cloud cover we see, uh, that's going to determine our severe weather threat later on this afternoon into the evening. So let's give you a real wide view here, and we'll check out the storm potential. There you see it developing all across eastern Oklahoma. But one storm in particular prompted this severe weather coverage. It's a tornado warning now for Logan County. So let's zoom in uh, back in down to that storm, and we'll get the very latest information. And it does appear that the rotation has definitely kind of uh, weakened just a little bit. We're going to set that storm, mo storm motion from the warning. Uh, let's go ahead and take the lightning off of there, too. We know the lightning is definitely a, a concern, but there is that area of circulation now passing to the north of Paris. And uh, this is a radar-indicated tornado, meaning enough rotation within the storm that's prompting that tornado warning. Uh, but this is radar-indicated. And uh, at the moment, it's going to be moving northeast towards uh, I-40. So anyone that's on I-40, uh, in between Coal Hill, Clarksville, uh, this is uh, kind of close to the Atkins area, not quite there, but we'll zoom in here just a little bit more and give you an idea of this area of circulation. So this is what we've been watching. Josh, these storms really ramped up quick. If we go back a few frames, you can see what prompted this tornado warning potential, and there it is. Yeah. There's the circulation showing up just to the northwest of Driggs. What we're looking at here is the radar from Fort Smith. Red colors indicate rain that's moving away from the radar. Green colors 
uh, the precipitation or the what we call hydrometeors are moving towards the radar, there's your circulation. That's what prompted the tornado warning. And if we move along in time and we get past Paris, you can kind of see how it starts to fall apart and weaken. So maybe there's a chance that this warning will expire before the actual time of the warning is allowed. Now, Josh, I don't know if you've got a track on weather one by any chance for this. Yep. Let's go ahead and we'll do that, a storm track on this. Getting that set up right now. Right. Um, but I'll, I'll say this, too, about this uh, severe thunderstorms. The good news is is that this is not the most favorable time for severe weather yet here in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Now, we do have that tornado warning that we've got right now. However, the shear has not really been in place yet. We were looking at those photographs beforehand, um, before we came on. And yeah. it, the environment's not juiced up really yet here in northwest Arkansas in the River Valley, but it will as we move throughout the late afternoon, early evening. Now, another thing, too, is we were warmer than what the models expected. Yes. We had record highs. We talked about those record highs. There's that tornado warning that goes until 3 o'clock. If we put a track on this to the northeast, here's the areas and the communities that are going to be impacted. But that sunshine on a severe weather day is something you don't want to see. Mm -hmm. What that does is that amps up the environment. That allows the uh, fuel, if you will, for these thunderstorms to be greater. But as that tracks to the northeast, it's going to be moving towards Ozone, Clarksville, right along I-40. So we're going to be watching this closely. In fact, the, the actual warning will have the information on the mile markers on the interstate on I-40 where you can be expecting this and you know there might be a lot of people traveling at this point coming back for New Year's Eve um, and uh, you know New Year's Day and then maybe celebrating you know New Year's into this uh, January 2nd 2023 as a lot of people observe the New Year's holiday on this day on Monday um, so just to be aware that there could be some people traveling also quarter size hail will be possible the biggest key though is this is radar indicated and the rotation is weakening somewhat so maybe hopefully uh, the storm will try to realize that tornado potential but fall apart pretty quickly just because all these ingredients aren't in place yet. So there's that track right there. So Josh, any information from uh, National Weather Service out of Little Rock uh, with this storm? Uh, yes, yeah, so radar indicator rotation, uh, that continues to be uh, what we're seeing with the storm right now. Um, storms moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Um, if we take a look at some of the places that are in the path here, obviously you saw on that storm track there, um, Coal Hill at about 2.42 p.m., so within the next 10 minutes or so, um, you'll be impacted by the storm. The warning also mentions uh, Clarksville, uh, which uh, is right on the edge of our weather coverage area at 2.52 p.m., uh, 3.04 p.m. ozone. Uh, this storm will impact you. And then at 3.16, Fort Douglas, uh, you're on the very edge of the storm. Now, on uh, Mega Doppler right now, Dan, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this storm. It is uh, really weakened uh, considerably. Uh, I think right so, now. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really falling apart very quickly. But here's the thing, though. Uh, even though the ingredients aren't there, that shows you the type yeah. of environment that we have in place. This is going to be one of those storms that can really crank up quickly, just like what we saw today uh, with this tornado worn storm. And as the additional storms come in this afternoon and evening, which, by the way, we did a Facebook Live. We were covering that. We were watching these storms as they were evolving. And uh, we're not done by any means because... If we go back to our weather graphics on Weather 2, you're going to see from Mount Magazine, completely shrouded in clouds. What does this mean? This is fuel that's available for these thunderstorms. It's moisture. It's instability. In fact, you can see it even um, it's so humid that there's condensation on the camera lens. And that's actually not rain. If we go back to the radar here, you'll notice that Mount Magazine isn't getting rained on. Maybe just a little bit from the, the southern tip of this cell. But... Uh, the really, really heavy rain is just to the northwest of that. But there is that tornado warning that's issued till 3 o'clock. If it doesn't expire sooner, looking at the latest data, wouldn't doubt if it does expire sooner. Yeah. Uh, the radar indicated storm that has the rotation, but that rotation has definitely weakened somewhat. Now, I do want to give just a real quick wider view if we go to weather 2. And we'll bring this back up. So first of all, there's no storms currently in, impacted in northwest Arkansas and Benton and Washington County. We do have southern Washington County that's seeing some storm activity. Uh, we did talk about this on Facebook Live, and I want to bring this up right now because I think it's definitely noted that the severe weather risk has increased even more at uh, 2 o'clock. They updated this. Josh, Zach, and I, were all watching this. There's the enhanced risk now making it all the way 
into central Benton County, almost all of Carroll County, including Eureka Springs. You also have Boone and Newton County that are included in that. If we look at the tornado threat, and remember, this is for later on this afternoon into the evening, uh, you can see that that is a pretty substantial tornado threat over a good portion of our area. And uh, also, too, this black lines, these through the, uh, the yellow shaded area, that's the potential for significant tornadoes. That's EF2 to EF5 potential. And uh, there's more of a chance, more of a probability, if you live in that area, that you could see a uh, stronger tornado. But even though Northwest Arkansas and parts of it is in that brown area, that still has that tornado potential. And with that being said, let's see if they've issued a new uh, tornado watch and they haven't. So there's the tornado watch that does include the part of the tornado warning that goes until nine o'clock. And we want to zip back in on that storm and take a look at the very latest on Mega Doppler uh, with that cell. But uh, the tornado, wa uh, tornado watch goes until nine o'clock. At the moment, it's only these four counties. That's because an additional watch is going to come out. It's likely going to come out for areas of northwest Arkansas. That's going to be later on this afternoon. That'll probably go until about 10 o'clock, uh, we're expecting. So real quick, just to check out Mega Doppler again, let's look at that area of rotation. Definitely an intense storm. And you can see some areas of circulation that are showing up. And I think the Weather Service, just out of caution, even though the storm maybe has weakened its rotation with this type of environment, they may continue to keep this in effect uh, all the way through 3 o'clock. So uh, still a little bit of a broad rotation, though, just to the south of Coal Hill that we'll be watching closely. Let's do another track on this, Josh. Yes, absolutely. Just made a new track on it uh, to adjust for the uh, speed of the storm because it's moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. So they're moving pretty quick. So as we move throughout the late afternoon, early evening hours, it's important that if you're in these tornado warnings, you take shelter immediately because these storms are going to be on top of you really, really quickly. Uh, 2.44 p.m., Hartman, uh, you're under the gun in about 8 to 10 minutes with this thunderstorm. Uh, 2.54 p.m., we just mentioned Clarksville. Uh, you need to be taking your tornado precautions as well just in case the storm continues to ramp up. Uh, 3.07 p.m. Ozone, 3.20 p.m. Fort Douglas, and 3.25 p.m. Limestone. And again, this is a highly volatile environment, so a lot of these things can ramp up out of nowhere and, and get going pretty quickly. So we're going to continue to watch this storm right now, but it does appear it's on the weakening trend. But that tornado warning does expire at 3 o'clock p.m. And you can see on your screen there as well where that polygon is. If you're in that, within that polygon, you need to be taking your tornado precautions until they either expire the warning or cancel it because it falls below uh, severe limits. So that's what we're watching right now with, with these storms. But as you said, Dan, I mean, this storm ramped up really quickly in an, in an environment that's not favorable really yet for tornadoes. Yeah, and what we mean by favorable is, you know, we look at all the ingredients in terms of the wind shear, which way the wind is blowing, not only at the surface, but uh, as you go up higher up above the atmosphere, if that lines up with the storm motion. There's a lot of research, there's a lot of science that goes behind this. However, there still is that potential for this to increase as the storms are ongoing, which is the type of environment that we're going to see that things become really favorable really fast over the area, and that's going to be later on this evening. So there is that tornado warning. Josh just did a storm track on that. Let's go to weather two, give you a wider view because we want to show you that additional storms are likely going to develop. So on weather two on the satellite and radar loop, you're going to see, first of all, this is the the early afternoon convection, the early afternoon thunderstorm development that we were expecting. But this is expected also to clear out. And if we see some sunshine behind that, which is definitely a possibility as the next wave of energy moves in, that's going to really crank up these afternoon and evening storms. So this could be a very long afternoon, evening, into the late evening and overnight hours. And uh, that could continue all the way until about oh, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. So just be ready. Hunker down. We're going to get you through this storm system. And we'll be tracking each and every one of these storms. So uh, that tornado warning does go until 3 o'clock. That's the storm that's in areas of eastern sections of our weather cover coverage area. That's the only storm of concern right now, but we had to jump on Facebook Live, on social media, streaming, and, of course, on television for those that don't uh, have the streaming capability. But still, quite, quite a bit of energy looking off to the west. Here comes the system that's moving in. You can see those clouds moving in, and these storms are increasing in intensity. So, uh, Josh, why don't we look at, and you can bring this up, 
a future radar. Even though it's yeah. not perfect, it'll give people an idea of how much storm activity will develop this afternoon and how much we could see. And in the meantime, I'm going to go right back to Mega Doppler here and bring this up on uh, on this system here and take a look at that. So there's that tornado warning mm -hmm. that goes until three o'clock. Additional storms developing, just rain and thunderstorm activity. A little bit of uh, what we call potentially a hook, but I just don't see any strong circulation with that right now. So definitely weakening in the rotation. However, with that being said, it could crank up real quickly. You got to look at that future track? Yes, sir, I do, right All now. Right. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull that up right now on uh, weather, uh, weather One. Um, and you can see it right there behind you. Yeah. So doing a good job right now with the storms that are going on um, here in the River Valley. And you'll notice as we go throughout the late afternoon hours, we're still watching those thunderstorms, Dan, that could move through northwest Arkansas. And these could actually help us um, because they could maybe limit the amount of instability that we're working with in the late afternoon early evening when these thunderstorms are really expected to get going as those more favorable parameters move into our area but you notice right after four o'clock into the five o'clock at right around dinner time uh, time frame that's when these uh, thunderstorms really begin to get nasty and that's when the greatest tornado risk will exist across our entire area you notice those temperatures uh, at least according to this model are in the low to mid 60s so a little bit cooler um, than maybe what we uh, thought previously but again, that remains to be seen if that actually happens. But you can see all these little um, kidney bean shaped looks to some of these thunderstorms on this computer model. And that's where we're watching uh, for the potential for some rotating thunderstorms. You notice right around 10 o'clock that a system begins to eject to the east. Eastern portions of the coverage area, especially around uh, Scott County, Logan County, Johnson County. You really need to be uh, weather aware today because yeah. this could be multiple rounds of, of very strong thunderstorms as we move throughout the evening hours. I think about the 5 to 10 o'clock time frame, that's when we're really going to be under the gun. There's been a sign, too, that there yeah. will be some of those tornadic supercells that track across that area. We already mm -hmm. saw how favorable the environment is, even though it's not quite enough to produce tornado potential. It's already starting to rotate those storms, prompting warnings. So... I really think, as, as, as Josh just mentioned, Scott County, Logan County, Southern Sebastian County, LaFleur County, uh, mm -hmm. those areas really going to be impacted. Johnson County. Now, Northwest Arkansas still has that potential for storms as well. You can't discount the potential for severe weather, but definitely something that we'll continue to watch. And I really think on how heating, cooling, Megadop, I think this storm is done. I think it started to weaken. Uh, we go back to mm -hmm. our... Um, go back to Mega Doppler on weather two, and you're going to see here. There's the area of rotation, which is really weakened quite a bit. Now there is quite a bit of inflow. There's definitely something Strong what wins. we call an inflow notch with this cell, and also it's uh, you know encountering a little bit of rough and rugged terrain. It just went over the north side of Mount Magazine. Now uh, let's go ahead and we'll see if we can get a, our Weatherbug Network camera. Boy, we had such a view of that as we were doing that Facebook Live with that very low lowering. Now the clouds have totally shrouded that in, so you can't see anything anymore. But one thing you could see is how fast those low-level winds are, which is something that's going to prompt that tornado potential later yeah. on this afternoon. Yeah, we just got another radar scan, too, on that uh, cell. And again, just kind of petering out a little bit, it yeah. seems like. It definitely is starting to weaken quite a mm -hmm. bit. So we'll zoom out here just a little bit. And I think, I, mean, I know there's a tornado warning on there, the type of environment. We're going to stay on this until this warning expires. This won't be the last warning that we likely cover. But uh, it's going to be these isolated cells that we really have to watch for. But boy, there sure is a lot of rain and storm activity that's just kind of cooling the environment, that's kind of dropping those temperatures in the river valley. But that doesn't look to stick around all day. No. That's going to be clearing out here pretty quick. And then that's going to set the stage for the next round of storms. So, Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of activity at all in northwest Arkansas as well, which is really why I think they expanded mm -hmm. the significant tornado risk to uh, most of the area. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, sometimes these systems throw curveballs. And, you know, we had all that sunshine today, record high temperatures, as you mentioned earlier. And that's a curveball because the models weren't showing temperatures as warm is what we got uh, earlier today. Yeah, and that's uh, the, what that does is that increases the fuel, that increases the instability, increases the uh, basically the uh, the amount of uh, moisture that's available for the storm. So, yep. Uh, let's go ahead and if we can, uh, we want to go back to our Mega Doppler source. 
There's a look at that storm, the tornado warning goes until 3 o'clock this evening. Uh, that storm is definitely starting to crank down, starting to weaken just a little bit. I want to do another storm track on this. Even though mm -hmm. it is weakening, people probably want to know where it's raining, where it's storming. And uh, I bet you I drive Arkansas along I-49 will be showing that heavy rain that's coming down. So that's also a threat, too. As you're driving, heavy rain could cause hydroplaning. And uh, you could be encountering that, especially just west of Clarksville on I-49 with that, with that tornado warning storm. Uh, but uh, there's a look. Let's, let's let me know when you got that track up, Josh. Yes. And we can bring that up. So there we go. There's the latest track, tracking just to the west of Clarksville, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, prompting this tornado warning till 3 o'clock. Strawberry 304, uh, Ozone 307, so that's moving into Johnson County. We're still barely including Logan County. Logan County is going to be clipped from the uh, warning here real soon as they update the next update as that uh, risk starts to lift northeastward. After that, remember the tornado watch still goes until 9 o'clock, even for Newton County. So the storm will continue moving northeast and, and throughout the time, that environment will be getting increasingly more favorable. So we'll be watching that closely. Yeah, and it does look like, um, you know, uh, we're, I'm looking to the south right now, Dan, and our friends in central Arkansas, there's a tornado warning in effect there. So this uh, system is really starting to push into uh, Arkansas right now. You know, there's a very large enhanced risk for severe weather that covers pretty much the entire state. So it's going to be a long day um, here for uh, everybody in Arkansas, not just us here in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. But it does look like, thankfully, that this storm uh, that we're watching right now is beginning to weaken. Um, did want to give you an update, too. The National Weather Service um, did give an update on the storm. They said that they're going to continue the tornado warning until 3 o'clock um, for those areas in uh, Logan and Johnson County. Um, again, this is radar-indicated rotation. Uh, Quarter-sized tail, also a threat with some of these uh, thunderstorms. These storms are what we call discrete, so they're a little bit more isolated right now. They've got their own piece of energy. And uh, so the hail threat still exists with this thunderstorm that's moving through. Gusty winds as well. Um, that wasn't mentioned in the warning, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing some very gusty winds as this storm kind of gusts out a little bit, Dan. You can kind of yeah. see it on the velocity image at times. Um, but again, the tornado warning does remain in effect until 3 o'clock, and that was just updated from uh, the National Weather Service in Little Rock. You talked about the heavy rain. Check out the iDrive Arkansas camera. This is at exit 47. Uh, so this is looking off to the west. That's some really heavy rain. And in fact, I drive Arkansas on the traffic. It's starting to slow down. So you're definitely seeing that heavy rain as an impact. And this is on the eastern edge of this tornado worn cell. So looking off to the west southwest, you can really see the darkening sky. And that's the cloud cover that's uh, rolling in from that storm, as we'll show you on Mega Doppler coming back in there. So that's the I drive Arkansas camera. Uh, and so there's that storm. So that, that camera was located right about in this region, just to the west of Clarksville, uh, mile marker 47. Latest track now taking it out of Logan County. We still have that area of circulation, but I really think that that rotation has weakened substantially. Uh, it's pretty much non-existent <clears throat> at this point. But the Weather Service just holding on to the warning until 3 o'clock. As soon as that hits and this warning gets uh, dropped, or even just a little bit before, we'll, uh, we'll break off of our severe weather coverage. Of course, we'll have the latest information on our newscast tonight. And uh, we'll continue to keep the stream up just in case this storm uh, prompts another tornado warning. But I don't think that's going to happen until later on this afternoon. So we got a little bit of a lull in the activity, which is expected, and that's going to happen. But later on this evening, the storms are going to be a little more intense as the wind shear increases, as the uh, dew points continue to climb, as the low-level wind shear becomes more favorable, and all these ingredients will come together, unfortunately, right at the wrong time at the right place. So we're going to be watching that closely. <laughs> the right place at the wrong time, I guess you could say yeah. that. Uh, but uh, there's a look at uh, Fort Douglas 315, Deer 325 on that latest track, waiting at 329. We don't want these ingredients to come together, but unfortunately it does look like that's coming to fruition later on this afternoon. So, so uh, we're at 248 now in the, e in the afternoon on January 2nd. It's January 2nd, right, if I'm not mistaken? That is correct. Yeah, January yes. 2nd. No, I said the 3rd, and uh, I guess the 3rd is tomorrow. But January 2nd, uh, 2023, starting the new year with quite a bang here. <laughs> with a big bang. That is for sure.
I'll tell you what, it's, it's, uh, it is really crazy. A couple weeks ago, we were sitting well below zero in a lot of these same spots, and now we're talking about severe weather. It's just, uh, it tends to happen, though, in these types of patterns, Dan. We've, we've seen it uh, in climatology and everything, that the ups and downs. Yeah. And anytime we get those big rises after those big drops, severe weather tends to follow, and sure enough, it looks like that's coming to fruition today. It is, absolutely. And we can go back to our, just to show you some of the ingredients that are starting to increase. Let's go to weather two. Look at the size of this tornado watch. Wow. New one coming out soon. We've got tornado warnings that are in western Louisiana, eastern Texas. There's the tornado warning for our friends in Garland, Perry, and Saline County in central Arkansas. We've got the tornado warning coverage for our area, for Logan and Johnson County, soon to be just Johnson County. No watch that's currently impacted for eastern uh, sections of Oklahoma, but that's going to be changing very, very shortly because of what we call the, um, uh, the Storm Prediction Center issuing what's called the mesoscale discussion. And when we look at this here, uh, you're going to see, once that pops up, you'll be able to see it immediately. And it's probably coming out here real soon, I think. But uh, what I was going to show you is the latest severe weather risk. Just to show you, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very large area. I mean, typically these enhanced risks are, are fairly small in coverage. And it's the greatest area of concentration for severe weather potential. This is nearly the entire state of Arkansas, if, except for extreme southeast Arkansas and extreme northwest Arkansas. So the reason we're staying on television is because we still have that tornado warning, even though the storm has weakened somewhat. This can uh, increase rather quickly, but I really think this warning will expire here very shortly. Yeah, and I'm, by the way, Dan, you were, you were talking about how quickly these storms can develop. I'm reading NWS chat right now, and they're talking about how quickly these storms began to rotate, even in a, a not-so-favorable environment right now. Yeah. And that environment's going to become favorable within the next few hours or so. And when that happens, if we're already seeing tornado warnings right now and enough rotation to prompt these warnings, well... And that, you do the math. This could be yeah. a really busy afternoon, evening, but yeah. we're geared up for it. We're ready for it, and we'll keep you updated for sure. Absolutely. All right, guys. So I think this uh, tornado warning is expiring here very soon. Uh, even though it's still in effect, I don't see any more rotation with it. I don't expect it to strengthen up in the next couple of minutes. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop off a of television coverage. So we're going to drop off of our television coverage. Uh, we will continue to stream this on Facebook Live for a few more minutes as we gear up for our afternoon and evening newscast to give you the very latest data, the timing, the threats, all this information. Uh, we'll be given to you that shortly. But uh, until then, keep it here with your Weather Authority team, and we will keep you safe. Now, weather alert from the Northwest Arkansas. It exists on Fox 24.